Bienvenidos Curly Fam, I'm back with another easy tutorial and this time I'm bringing you a heatless way to stretch your natural curls. I'm going to be starting off with one of my high puff ponytails I've had in for a few days and I'm starting off with a fresh wash. Today I'm going to be using all these miracle curls and I love this line because not only does it smell really good but you don't need a lot to wash your hair and condition your hair a lot. A little bit goes a long way so I'm also going in with their volume miracle volume conditioner as you can see here you know very creamy and it's very potent sticks too next I'm going in with the leave-in conditioner and then also Aunt Jackie's buttercream you see me here pretty much just sectioning my hair into four pieces god this stuff smells so good but it's super creamy as long as your hair is pretty saturated with water this little bit goes a long way now obviously I'm going to apply more but yeah it goes a long way so here my hair is sectioned off into four medium manageable sections and I'm just going to apply the cream and just detangle it a little bit more I've already fingered detangled it in the shower so I don't have to do too much I'm basically using the cream to seal in the moisture in my hair so that way it stretches easier Next, I'm going to go in with Jamaican Black Castor Oil with Yingling, Yangling, I don't know how to say it, but anyway, I know this stuff works, I've been using it forever, and I'm going to link a video in regards to JBCO helping your hair right about here. So now I'm just stretching my hair nice and taut, and I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the twisters, once my hair is at a manageable spot where I like it. And I've been using medium sized ones, small to medium sized ones, but I'm going to stretch my hair taut and place the hair tie around my hair as if I was going to do a ponytail. And as I'm holding it taut, I'm just going to work my way down, stretching my hair and keeping it in place. So as you can see here, I'm just pressing it really taut and making sure that it stays in place. All right, and now you see that I did the same thing, just grabbed another tie, hair tie, and I'm working my way all the way down the hair shaft until I get down to the bottom, and then I'm going to fold the ends up into the last pony, so that way I don't have what I call dead hangman, and my hair is moisturized all the way through. So now I'm just going to repeat the process, detangle a little bit more, add the cream, the Jamaican black castor oil and yeah all four sections are complete okay so now it's time to take the hair down and I usually wait to about a day a day and a half to let it really dry but as you can see here I'm not pulling out my hair I'm actually going pretty slow to sped it up for the video purpose but there are no strangly hairs on my hair ties so that's what you want you don't want to pull out your hair and this is what it looks like once it's stretched so all four sections are stretched. And what I like to do is just shake my hair loose. So let's say, I don't know, like, I wanna, you know, do, do a design really quick, you know. My hair is pretty, pretty stretched and pretty much detangled. So, you know, I can kind of go for one of these. Great rest of your week and see you later. Bye.